Hi guys, morning. Yes, we're back in the Alps in Bavaria again. Uh, it's only been about five weeks since we were here last. Uh, we had such a good time uh, on uh, Zugspitz. Uh, we uh, returned to uh, climb another mountain in the area. Uh, I'll spin round. Excuse the noise. That's the morning coffee on the go. But uh, yeah, use our Airbnb. It's really, really nice. Um, little mezzanine floor there. Uh, a couple of beds up there. Kitchen diner. Spin round. Very nice. But more importantly, let's look at the view out the window. Excuse the big finger again. There we go. Wow. There's the Vesestein Mountains. You can see Jubilee Ridge, Alpspitz. And in between, you can see the Hollenthal. Hollenthal Valley, up to the uh, Zugspitz. Wow, that is impressive. I'll even enjoy the view. I'll catch a little bit later and have my coffee. So with coffee done, Sky and I decided to explore Garmisch Partenkirchen. But before we could enjoy the delights, we uh, needed to explore the local area and um, find an easy route from uh, where we were staying to the trailhead, which is about five miles from uh, our accommodation. So uh, we needed to find a route to that in the daylight before we uh, would attempt it the following morning in the dark at about 4 a.m. The charm in uh, Zugspitzbahn uh, rack train runs on a one meter gauge and goes from Garmisch Partenkirchen up to Zugspitzplatz, which is the, uh, the skiing resort at about 2,600 meters. It has the biggest tight difference of any railway in Europe and is the third highest railway in Europe. Hiya guys, just enjoying a walk through Garmisch Partenkirchen. This is the Garmisch part. Um, there were originally two small towns that were joined in 1936 for the Olympics that took place that year. Um, both kind of distinctly different, but uh, it's a really beautiful place. Very Bavarian and very nice. See you in a bit. Garmisch really is a charming place, as well as all the Bavarian restaurants, and climbing the mountaineering shops. Um, it's got a, a good range of regular high street stores as well for all the, the supplies you need when uh, staying in the, in the town. It's time. Spaghetti ice. Classical. Hiya guys. Yeah, we're in the um, Partenkirchen part of Garmisch Partenkirchen now, which is kind of the other side, the newer side, more modern architecture over here. Uh, there's the Rat House, which is kind of like the town hall. So uh, the classic Bavarian painted uh, sort of uh, chalet style building. Beautiful. Notice the new hat. I forgot mine in the uh, UK. I put it ready. You know what it's like. Getting the bags out, boots, case with all the climbing equipment in and the hat went for a burden. So it's stuck in the back of the car. So this is 
the uh, temporary hat for the climb tomorrow, mainly because it's going to be a sunny day tomorrow, so I want to burn like a frazzle up there. So, uh, you know, there we go. Straw hat. <laughs> when, when in Rome, as they say. But I'll spin you around. Um, that's it. Yeah, that there. It's Mangvank. You've got to be a bit careful how you pronounce that in English. <laughs> but uh, again, there's, um, there's, you know, later in the, in the winter time, there's a skiing piece up there. It would be a beautiful climb. It would be, nice, be a nice hike up there, to be honest. Um, over to my right, I'll spin round. Is uh, a little bit of um, Kramer, Kramer Spitz, which is about just under 2,000 metres tall. And it's about 1,300 meters above where I'm standing so you know pretty sized decent mountain pretty much like, like Ben Nevis really in terms of elevation from where I'm standing now that would be a good hiking climb too but uh, all right then I thought I'd just touch base and I'll see you in a little bit bye for now You know you're in a serious place when you've got the day's weather posted every day. How about that? It's the way to do it, isn't it? <laughs> See you later. So with the trailhead recce done and a lovely day spent in Garmisch, it was time for us to find a good restaurant. We opted to go Bavarian. It was delicious and then uh, head to bed for an early night. Not a particularly good one. It never is, is it, a night before a climb? But nevertheless, an early night, ready for an early start the following day. Catch you in the next film. <laughs>